Hey guys, it's Claire from Honestly Ophelia Vintage, and I'm here to share with you my Etsy and eBay sales of the month of January. Um, January's not over yet, obviously, but it's almost there. And I have a lot of sales this month, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I thought I would share them with you. So I am a seller on Etsy and eBay. If you're new to my channel, I've been doing this for about three years and I'm learning as I go and sharing my experiences with other resellers so that hopefully everybody can learn together. Um, cause that's the great thing about the YouTube reseller community is everyone's very willing to help out, um, and teach. So let's get started here. I'm going to tell you what I paid for the item, where I found it and how much it sold for. So this is the first one. This is a vintage polo sport Ralph Lauren bucket hat. Uh, I picked this up at an estate sale and rummaged through a bin of random little things and it was in the bottom and it was $2 and it didn't sell for $49.95. It actually sold a best offer for $40 and I was more than happy with that. So, Okay, the second item is an L.L. Bean tote. This was the 100 year anniversary of L.L. Bean. Uh, it's just a canvas bag. You'll see these a lot of times in thrift stores. I think I paid $5 for this and it sold for $24.99. Next you have a Stella and Dot Slim City, Slim City Clutch. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> this was in beautiful condition. Um, it was $4.99, which is a little bit much for me, but I just thought this is so cute. Someone was going to love it. And it sold actually on best offer for $17 plus shipping. Okay, this is why I always check out the kids rack because you never know what you're going to find. And I've sold this before, one of these before, um, and I knew that this could make a good profit. So I paid $6, which is a bit much for me, but it did sell. I took a best offer for this one of $32.99 plus shipping. Okay. This, guys, was super exciting. This is my biggest sale to date. So I'm loving 2018 so far. <laughs> my husband and I went to a church rummage sale. They had a whole bunch of these vintage Nancy Drew books, hardcover from the 50s and 60s. I grew up on these books. I love them. I immediately recognized them. And they were kind of all sitting on a shelf and I thought, well, if they're still there when we leave, maybe I'll look at buying them. Um, because I had no idea how much they were charging for the whole set, but it ended up being only $20 and these sold at a best offer of 200 plus shipping. And they went to Canada through the, uh, global shipping program. Okay. I said I wasn't doing puzzles anymore, but this would be the one exception would be these Ravensburger puzzles. So, and only, only if they are sealed brand new, um, because they're not worth it if you're going to pick them up used. At least in my opinion, I've never had good luck with the used ones. So this one was still new in the plastic. We, my husband actually spotted it at a flea market. We paid $4 and I took a best offer of 40 Okay, these shoes, which I thought were totally awesome, were up for a long time. Nobody really seemed interested. I mean, I got a lot of hearts and things like that on Etsy. So I finally put them up on auction on eBay, and they sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Um, I don't know anything about dolls. I don't really like dolls, like creepy ones staying in my house. So I was happy to get rid of these. A friend had given us these. Um, so they were free. I put them up on auction just to see what would happen and they sold for a whopping $4.95, but that's okay because they were free <laughs> and I got the creepy dolls out of my house. Okay. Um, speaking of puzzles, I am not picking up puzzles anymore, but I had a ton of them that I needed to just clear out. So this was kind of the month of clearing out old inventory that was just not moving. It was sitting and sitting and sitting and I could have waited maybe to get whatever I originally wanted to get for these items, but I just decided I need to make room for other stuff that's coming in. These are things I bought a while ago, so let's just get them out of the house and make a little money. 
So I'll take um, a little money over <laughs> no money. <laughs> so this sold for $4.99 plus shipping, and I probably paid maybe a dollar or two dollars at a thrift store. Uh, this is the Old North Trail by Frank McCarthy, Thousand Piece Puzzle. Again, put it on auction just to see what would happen. It sold for $5.95 plus shipping. I think I paid two. So not a huge profit, but I'm so happy to be getting these things out of my house. Finally, finally. Okay, this was kind of a fun one. I paid a dollar for this little bag of um, assorted keychains at a thrift store, and it sold on auction for $7.51 plus shipping. But it was just really fun. It was like shaking things up a little bit, selling something different. Um, and there are some cool ones in there, like this little alien slinky guy. So I hope whoever got them enjoys them. Okay, um, Beaterlack blankets still continue to sell for me. This one was a really cool one of a deer. Um, it's signed by the artist in the corner. And it sold on a best offer for $34.99. Oh, and I'm sorry, I picked this up at a garage sale for $2. Okay. This is my last eBay sale that I have to show you. Uh, this is a vintage 1996 Ralph Lauren Polo Sport pillowcase. So a lot of people say Polo Sport stuff is not selling, but um, I've actually sold two Polo Sport items in the last month, and um, three if you count like the Ralph Lauren one that's not Polo Sport, but had the teddy bear on the little kid's sweater. So it still it still does sell. I just think it depends on what the item is. Um, so I took a best offer on this for $43.55, and I paid, paid $0.50 cents for this at a thrift store. All right, so now I'm going to move on to my Etsy sales for January. Here's my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking it out. Honestly, Ophelia VTG. Um, I love finding and selling vintage wrapping paper. This was a cool design of like an old fashioned train. It was made in Canada. And this was probably about 50 cents, maybe a quarter, because I buy usually in giant lots. Um, and this sold for $11.99 plus shipping. This was hilarious. These are two, the same buyer bought two pairs of these um, troll doll earrings and they're Easter themed. And I got them for free at a garage sale um, and ended up selling them both for $19.99 each. So I've made a total of $40 off of that, which is pretty fun. So keep your eye out for troll doll earrings. People like them. They're funky. All right. And then the vintage Farside coffee mug. This sold immediately. I mean, I posted this and the next morning it was sold. So um, I paid $1.20 for this. It had the original box. It had a funny comic. Um, this is Gary Larson's The Far Side. And it was made in 1986. And this sold for $29.95 plus shipping. So I thought that was pretty great for a coffee mug. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I picked this up and showed it in one of my haul videos. This is from an estate sale, Smokey the Bear tote bag. And I had this on eBay, no takers, put it up on Etsy, and sure enough, oh, away it went. So Etsy just has a very different um, crowd, I think. And I think Etsy is kind of geared towards those people who are looking for something kind of hipsterish or really, really unique or... Um, yeah, they're not necessarily looking for the lowest price, like some of the people on eBay, I think. So, and that's kind of a broad generalization, obviously. But Smokey the Bear tote bag, paid about 50 cents, sold for, let me look at my notes, $33.95. So that's pretty good. All right. Another Vesterbach, I'm assuming that you pronounce that like a V instead of a W, made in West Germany. Um, I've been finding these mugs pretty frequently. This was a really fun one. Even if it weren't Vesterbach, I would have picked it up just for the graphic. So it's basically these girls and they're reading with their backs to giant books. And this is from the 1970s. And I paid 99 cents for this. 
and I sold it for $14.30 on sale. Okay, vintage Mickey Mouse baseball cap. I got this actually, I think, at the Goodwill Outlets or something, or one of the bins that you dig through. Um, so I probably didn't pay more than 50 cents for it. And this sold for $28 plus shipping. Okay, this was a fun tote bag. Um, I keep an eye out for unusual tote bags. This one was koala bears. It says preserve wildlife. Um, it was from the 90s. And I waited a little while on this. It did take a little while to sell, but I put it up for $24.99. I think I paid $4.99 at a thrift store. Okay, and this wasn't a huge sale, but I'm happy to clear stuff out. I have a bunch of vintage Disney Disney sheets that my husband picked up for me. They're $1.99 each. And this one sold on sale for $10.13. Um, this cute little vintage Pocahontas Disney purse was probably a quarter at a thrift shop. And it sold for... $16.99 plus shipping. It's just a tiny little kid's purse. It's not very big. Okay, and this is my final sale. This is on Etsy. Vintage HRC California Ranch Rare Men's Western Shirt. Um, keep an eye out for this brand, you guys. It's really good. I did not know it until I found this. My husband and I stopped in at a little thrift store, and neither of us found much at all. The whole place was 90% clothing, which is fine, but not really my thing. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go through the men's stuff really quick while my husband was looking in the glass case. And um, and sure enough, at the last minute, I grabbed this shirt, paid $6.75 for it, and I sold it for $64.99. So definitely some incentive to start looking more at the vintage clothing and just clothing in general. I'm not a huge clothing seller, but for those kind of prices... I'm going to become one. <laughs> I'm going to start looking. So anyways, keep an eye out for the H bar C California. That's kind of really unique look to it. So you're not going to be able to miss it if you're taking a peek at the menswear. All right, guys. So keep in mind that all of these numbers are before fees, before um, any eBay fees, PayPal fees, or Etsy fees. I do charge shipping for everything that I sell. I don't think a single item I sold had free shipping. So um, people will pay if they like the item enough, they will pay to have it shipped. So just keep that in mind. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope your sales are going well for January and that you're off to a great start in the new year. Take care, everybody, and thanks for watching.